you know, we've lived in the duality of light and dark. But we've almost completely ignored the fact that there's a third duality here, and that's balance. Okay? We have always been somewhere between the two, never realizing that the balance is actually its own duality as well. And none of us have give that, given that space enough credit. And we certainly don't teach that in our spiritual philosophies uh, or religions of the earth, of just finding the balance. Um, many of the indigenous cultures have known that all along. You know, they've known about the balance. Um, and in, in saying that, I, I brought that up specifically because what needs to be acknowledged here is that the United States changed the world. It changed its perspective. It changed the direction. Uh, up until now, it has probably done more good than harm. But the consciousness of America has radically changed. For the last 60 years, we've been creating enemies, fighting enemies, creating enemies, fighting enemies, fascism, communism, tyranny, and then creating tyranny, communism, fascism, so much so that we have now, that our government has now become the monster that it has been fighting all along. Okay? There's a great lesson there in holding on to something and putting too much energy into something that you actually become that which you hate. Okay? We're faced with that. I want you to know that there is not a single benevolent extraterrestrial race up there, the Andromedans at all, who are going to do anything about our government. That's our problem. We let this get out of hand. We let them get out of control. We let them usurp our rights. We let them build all this technology without sharing it. We've let them run amok. We have not managed our constitutional republic. And we have let them take our rights away. That's our responsibility to fix. Now, I'm not advocating overthrowing the government, but what I am advocating is the fact that you absolutely stand up for yourselves and don't take this horseshit any longer. We simply can't do it. It's become a detriment to the planet. Okay? And we are responsible for that. Now, having said that, and this is an unintentional plug for Michael, Dr. Sala's book. Okay? But I was going to talk about this anyway. In the late 50s, the United States government signed a treaty with an extraterrestrial race who they believed to be benevolent. And agreements were reached, and there were terms to that treaty. And shortly after that treaty was signed and agreed upon, the extraterrestrials broke the treaty because technologically they were far more advanced than we believed they were. Okay, so the government was tricked into it. However, we called that upon ourselves. We brought that experience to us because of our treatment and our behavior with treaties. Just ask the Native Americans. We signed 263 treaties with the Native Americans, and we broke 263. And it goes on and on and on. So if you need proof of karma, there's one for you. Okay? We drew that to us. Because we haven't walked our talk. We talk about it. We sing about it at sporting events. You know, we beat our chests. But we haven't walked it at all. Okay? It's in our face, ladies and gentlemen. It's in our face. And once again, America is at the forefront of this. Okay? 
this economic crisis in the end will be a godsend because what will happen is the ridiculous laws and restrictions and regulations we have put on ourselves will all fall away because there will be nobody to support them. That's number one. Number two, what makes us great is that we think out of the box. We create something out of nothing. We create solutions to impossible problems. That's what's made us great. Okay? We need to go, we need to re-embrace that spirit, that wild spirit that freed the world, that changed the world. It doesn't mean that we cannot share that spirit with other nations because other nations are getting there. Hell, Russia is just as free as we were 25 years ago now. They're changed so dramatically. They realize that what they were doing no longer works. Okay, there's a lesson there. Putin was very specific. Don't go to communism. It doesn't work. Okay? But this is not about politics. This is about control. This is about control. And... It's about you. It's about me. It's about us. It's about our kids. Okay? It is time to create something different. All you need to do, what I'm, all of that I've been asked to tell you, is to consciously, intentionally start thinking about what the world looks like. What a new world looks like. The way you want it. Okay? Do you want centralized government? Do you want a monetary system? Do you want to use fossil fuels? Do you want free energy? What is it that you want? Okay? We cannot allow a handful of people to decide the direction of all of humanity. They are only and they are only going to be self serving. This is our responsibility. Because this is our this is our reality. We're creating this together. And if we embrace that, if we take responsibility for creating all of that reality, we can change this so fast it'll blow your minds. Because we're all extremely powerful. Look at what we've done. Look at what we've done already. It's, it's stunning. I mean, um, An experience that I had when I go on board their fifth density beings, immediately that I come on board, a belt is put on me. And essentially what the belt does is it holds all of my atoms together so that I don't fly apart because I'm a third density being. My vibration is very slow compared to them. This belt regulates it, regulates um, the speed of my atoms so that I can actually coexist with them. Now what's fascinating about that, what's fascinating about fifth density as a third density being, is that my body is moving before my thoughts are. In other words, if they start walking, I'm walking before I stop to think about walking. Okay? Because now I'm connected directly to my higher self, to my soul. I'm not waiting for my ego to click in and say, okay, start walking. Okay? The other thing that was very, very difficult, and I'm going to give Joan Ocean credit for this because she brought it up yesterday in a conversation we had, is you feel like you're losing yourself. You feel like you're just dissipating, becoming invisible. And... You're actually not. What's happening is that on a higher vibration, your ego doesn't exist. It falls away. It simply cannot exist in that harmonic. It has no relevance whatsoever. And then what happens is, and it takes, takes some time to adapt, is you're confronted with who you are. You're introduced to yourself. And at first you don't recognize it. 
because we're so conditioned to this. You know, we're so conditioned to all of this that this is what feels real. Logically, we know we have a soul. When we meditate, we get into that space, but we are still totally conscious of the fact that we are in a physical form. There, in fifth density, my experience has been you don't even think about the physical form at all. Okay? You're moving. Your physical form is trying to catch up to you. It's, it's absolutely amazing. What's also amazing is that if you close your eyes, you can see 360 degrees around you. Okay? You know exactly what's going on everywhere. I could feel everyone that was around me. I could feel their emotions. I could feel them look at me. I could feel them think about my appearance, what I represented, how I was standing, all of those things. I didn't always hear the telepathic communication because a lot of it wasn't directed specifically at me. When it is, you hear it. And it's like we're speaking now and you know that it's coming from someone because they're looking directly at you except their mouth isn't moving, but you're having the dialogue. And for those of you who are mediums or channels, you know exactly what that's like. Okay? We will be moving into all those spaces. All right? We will be great. And we need the mentorship so that we don't freak out and flip out so that we can truly understand how to embrace our essential selves, what it's all about. The whole purpose of going through all of this stuff for humanity all the thousands of years of tests, trials, tribulations, previous pole shifts, all of that was to take our selves through this exercise to move from third through fourth and eventually into fifth density. That's what this has all been about. It's all been a school. Okay? And we all volunteered. None of you were taken from a ship, thrown out the window and said, make it, figure it out. It's not how it happens. You know, and I wish it were because then, then we'd have some, some other excuses. Okay? But we don't. That's what this is about. Um, More and more people, probably many of you in this room, are going to begin to have contact. It's happening. It's going to happen all over the world. Okay? It's going to be picked up exponentially. Many of the races who have been here studying us, and I would suggest that you research the work of Colonel Wendell Stevens, because he's... He's the foremost authority on contactees around the world. Um, his books are available. There have been many, many races here studying us. They know us better than we know ourselves. And many of them are stepping forward and are going to be stepping forward to say, okay, we are going to participate in this process to help move us along because they understand us. They've been here around us, amongst us. They've observed us. They know the challenges we have. Okay, many of those specific races have been in exactly the same place as we are now. And they knew how to get through the hurdles and they knew how to get through the traps or to avoid the traps that apparently we may be stumbling into here. Okay? Again, I know many of you in this room, if not all of you, have devoted an amazing amount of time into developing yourselves, into finding your balance, to finding your strength, to finding out who you are, what you are, and to find out exactly where you are so that you know where you stand. Okay? Bravo. You deserve every accolade there is. The next step for you, now that you've